Hey there. Welcome to day 308 of the Daily Scare Share. And no, I'm not talking about hair, although that's a little bit scary today too. Lately, this new haircut, can't get used to it. So my hair is pretty weird and scary sometimes. I think it's the bangs. I'm not used to bangs. But what does that have to do with the Daily Scare Share? Well, today is one of those dreaded blank line days. Those days that make me a little nervous because I don't know what I'm going to talk about or I don't know what I'm going to say. So I looked at it today and it says... Handy any magnifying glass. Today I stood like a rock. Well, that triggers my thinking because I love rocks. I've been a rock lover ever since I was a little bitty girl. Maybe because my grandma was a rock lover and we just always, I guess it skipped a generation because my mom, I don't remember her being particularly fond of rocks. She likes jewelry and beads. It's kind of like rocks, but not particularly, not rocks per se, but I love rocks and collect rocks as souvenirs. My kids love rocks and collect rocks as souvenirs. And so I knew that I had something to talk about. In addition to that, and talking about what's your favorite souvenir, and here's some rocks. I just went to my rock drawer because I actually have a rock drawer. This is a cool rock I got when I went and got my daughter from photography school in Montana. It's just cool. It's pretty. It's pink. I think I thought it was shaped like a heart when I first grabbed it. Not very, not very heart shaped, but in the ground it looked heart shaped because it had dirt around it. But this is my weird pink sandstone rock from out west. And then I've just got other little rocks that I like to collect as souvenirs and just kind of, like when I walk in the park or walk in nature, I like to have a rock in my hand. I don't know why, I just like to. It gives me a sense of connection and security and staying in the present moment, I guess. But what I'd like to do today, besides talking about souvenirs, is I would like to grab a card from the well-being deck, because I like to do this on blank line days, and show you exactly how I do it. I just grab the deck. This particular deck is by The Teaching of Abraham by Esther and Jerry Hicks. It's called the Well-Being Cards. I believe they have a book. I'm not sure they have a book by the same name. Sometimes they don't, but they do have several books and several card decks. I love these card decks. I, I fell in love with them probably... Well, when they first started coming out, so it's got to be at least 15 years ago, um, from Hay House. Hay House is the one that I got my first deck from. And actually, I bought a lot of my... I actually, it was at Barnes & Noble, but it was a Hay House deck. Love Louise Hay. Too bad that she's passed away. But she had an awesome life and an awesome run, and she made an incredible impact on millions of people. So, let's pick one. I actually am just going to pick this top one. Normally I'll shuffle the deck and pick a card, but I just grabbed the top one because it's shuffled up to the top and it just felt like the one I should choose today. So let's see what it has to say with our handy dandy magnifying glass. Show you the picture. I love the pictures and the graphics on these. It says, desire is the beginning of all creation. It looks like a couple dancing in the woods. And the back, it says, there's always a backside too. In following your desire to come to you, oh, start over, er, erase. In allowing your desire to come to you, you not only gain the satisfaction of having received it, you also gain a whole new perspective from which to desire more. Okay, so basically it says, let what you want come to you, and the satisfaction that that brings will give you a new perspective on life and the ability to want more things and trust that more things will come your way. Cool. Desire is the beginning of all creation. Got to want something, got to know what you want, and when you know what you want, then that's the first step in having it show up in your life. So that's it today. Today, I stood like a rock. That's our challenge. We need to write, how do we stand like a rock today? How would we be steadfast to what we believe in? How could we do something that shows our inner strength? I don't know. Come up with something. I'll come up with something. And that will help us stretch our comfort zone. That's it. Have a fantastic day. And of course, I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.